Welcome to today's webinar. I am Molly Hughes, and this webinar series is focused on finding the best sustainability certification for your brand or business. Today, we're featuring Green Business Bureau. So this is an important and a timely topic. Research shows that shoppers are becoming more and more discerning and skeptical of non-verified sustainability claims. They want to support businesses they can trust. In third-party verifi verified eco-labels and certifications, they're what are most trusted by consumers. Furthermore, there are government incentives through the EPA um, that are in the works for sustainable businesses. And it's certifications and eco-labels that are going to be used to qualify your business for state grants and rewards. So keep following us to stay up to date on these opportunities. Okay, so for this webinar series, we have a great list of certifying organizations that we're gonna be speaking to over the next couple of months, including Global Organic um, Textiles, GOTS, that's next Thursday, March 23rd, live. Um, we have Green E Certification, supporting clean energy, and that's on April 6th. And we have Cradle to Cradle for product life cycle analysis on April 13th, so really, a wide um, range of sustainable topics um, being addressed. So if you are a business considering certification or you're just wanting to learn a little bit more about this process, you're in the right place today. Okay, so at this time, I'd like to bring on today's guest. We are super excited to learn about Green Business Bureau or GBB. GBB provides a great way to align your sustainability mission with measurable initiatives. So with us today is Tom Permateo, CEO of Green Business Bureau. Welcome, Tom. Well, thank you, Molly. It's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. So let's start by learning just a little bit about you. How did you get involved with Green Business Bureau? Uh, so I'll, I'll try to keep it as brief as possible, but mm -hmm. I've been in the sustainability um, industry for about 15 years. So I've seen a lot of evolution you know, from, from 2007, 2008 to getting to here. Uh, but I originally get into it because at the time, my children uh, were very young and I had two opportunities I was looking at. One of them was in the sustainability space. So I ended up starting a, a company there at their urging at the yeah. time. Uh, and then about five years ago, the company that I had founded ultimately was partnering with the Green Business Bureau. And we came to an agreement. We really liked what they were doing. We thought what they were doing was, was actually better than what we were looking to do. And mm -hmm. so we acquired them and we actually took the platform that they had started to build. It was originally built by MIT LEED certified engineers. Okay. Uh, and we replatformed it. We modernized it and made it, to, you know, kind of extrapolated out the hard science and to try to make it into a much more business friendly tool that companies could use to really act as a framework for them to embark upon a, a green a sustainability journey within their business that made sense to them. Yeah. So when you first got involved in sustainability, what prompted you to, to enter this field? Yeah, no. So uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, my children at the time were, I think, nine and 11. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I had uh, just come out of a technology company and had sold it. Uh, mm -hmm. And I was looking at two different opportunities to, to start a, a new company. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of the companies was in the sustainability space. And literally, as I was talking about those things, my daughter and, and son were curious and asked me about them. And I, I said, one is this. And, and I said, which one should I do? And they said, well, mm -hmm. at the time, there was a lot of talk about the polar ice caps and polar yeah. bears. And they said, we, we go save the polar bears. Now, we, uh, we have not done saved any you know, the polar bears. <laughs> that, was, that was kind of the, the, the yeah. mission. And... Uh, I was fortunate enough at the time to be able to say, yeah, I'm going to embark upon this path. Uh, and mm -hmm. it's been an interesting journey, particularly because of the economic conditions that, you know, what happened in 2008, uh, the collapse mm -hmm. of the financial markets. Uh, and But to really see where we are today and versus where we were then mm -hmm. in terms of the public thought process. Mm -hmm. Now my children have grown up and that generation is entering the workforce and actually yeah dominating the workforce these are the people that people want to hire and so to from uh where, where i i see the world we um it's baked into the system now this is mm -hmm. not going away and that's a good thing uh for mm -hmm. sure right yeah i think it's interesting how um the younger generation does have an influence um on on their parents and their grandparents and i think they have to realize that um you know 
your voice may seem small, but but it's not. People are listening. And um, maybe, like you said, maybe the polar bears aren't saved yet, but there has been progress made. Of course. So, yeah. um, so I think I think that's an important thing to know, too. So um, on these webinars in the past, we have always talked with um, product certifiers. And you guys are a little bit different because you provide um, membership, resources, and certification um, to businesses as a whole. So tell me a little bit about the value that Green Business Bureau brings to businesses. Yeah, no, I think it's a great point because at one point in our history, we 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 looked at being kind of a product evaluator, and mm -hmm. but that was probably in 2013 ish, uh, and we just fought, felt that there were enormous challenges to that at that particular time, um, and technology has made it maybe a little bit easier, but. Our, our original purpose was to actually work with, with small to medium sized businesses and you know mm -hmm. things evolve. But we wanted to look at uh, uh, what the, in the operations of the business could be done to improve. Because if you think about uh, uh, large companies, very large companies have adopted this, you know, if you go back and look at 2013, less than 20% um, of the S&P 500. We're doing any kind of environmental social governance reporting. If you fast forward now, 95% are. So large companies kind of have resources and they they understand that if I do these things, it creates operational efficiency in my business. I can have a five-year plan. But small to medium to, you know, even slightly larger companies don't have that luxury. So the idea of what we what we really found attractive about the Green Business Bureau was it provided a way for a small to medium-sized business to, to impact the operations of their business. And the the product comes out of lead certification the original founders were mit lead certified engineers mm -hmm. and it was all about practicality it was all about being doing common sense things in a business that a increase their efficiency as a business so anytime you do something around sustainability it increases your efficiency but it lowers your waste and it lowers yeah. uh your your um uh, your emissions etc mm -hmm. and the way we view it and part of our mission is every time someone does an initiative when they're a member mm -hmm. it's having an impact on the planet is a direct impact every time someone you know finishes an initiative that is part of what we do. So we feel like we're unleashing businesses to actually have a positive impact. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and to us, it's also unleashing employees because the businesses are engaging their employees to create and finish these initiatives. So they're making their business better. They're making their planet better. They're increasing their profitability. It just seemed like a really common sense and logical thing to do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're, we're exactly in agreement with you that it is small changes and people need to realize that it's small changes, whether it's a consumer or whether it's as an employee, a business or people running a business that collectively, if everybody starts making these changes and um, that awareness is there, um, the impact is going to be large. Yeah, Molly, um, one of the small point and the business that are doing this are gaining a competitive advantage because are. the businesses yeah. are more efficient their employees are more engaged. Um, I was at a conference in San Diego and, and, and during the presentation, there was a, uh, a woman who gave a presentation prior to me and she was of that demographic that we're talking about. And she said something that really struck me. She said that her generation was the first generation to experience the impact of climate change but the last generation to actually be able to do something about it. Mm -hmm. And so business is a great contributor to global, you know, to, to the climate crisis that we have here, but they can also be an effective force for positive change. Business isn't going away. They need to be more effective, but it makes them more competitive as a business as well. Yep, yep exactly. Okay, so let's talk about Green Business Bureau. Somebody sure. wants to get involved, um, you know, what, what do you offer and how does it work? Sure. Um, so we have a mission in, and our mission is to make every greenest business a greener business. And what I what I mean by that is we don't expect everybody to be cradle to cradle immediately once they become a GBB member, because every business is different. And, you know, your business has started to solve a problem and bring something to market. And you can't ask a business that's been around for 100 years to just stop everything they're doing and change. Mm -hmm. So we view sustainability as a, as a marathon, as a journey. Uh, and, and, and everybody comes in to Green Business Bureau at a different point in their journey. But we have a, a software platform that allows customers to do three very main and simple things, right? Which is uh, that we initially want to give them an assessment of where they are. So we have what we call an echo assessment and we have a carbon calculator as well that allows them to take a current 
state, you know, uh, get a current state of what their business is. Once they're done with that and they kind of understand where they are, because there's an old adage, you can't manage what you can't measure. Uh, so we give them initial measurement and then we're going to feed them into the guts of, of, of our platform, which is, and that's probably a terrible word, but the, the <laughs> core of our platform is a better way to say that, yeah. um, which is the, our, our echo planner and our echo library. And, and there are over 600 different initiatives that we have. These are all actionable and guided initiatives. So why it's an echo planner and an echo library is that there, uh, there are over 600 initiatives, but we also have 50 different industry packs. So if you're a dry cleaner, you have things that are important to you. If you're a retailer, you have things that are important to you. Now, we all know that 95% of sustainability initiatives are like-minded. Light bulbs are light bulbs. Water is water. Waste is waste. Energy is mm -hmm. energy. But a dry cleaner cares about chemicals because they're mm -hmm. consumers care about chemicals. Uh, uh, retailers might care about refrigeration units. They both might have uh, uh, delivery vehicles, pickup vehicles, et cetera. So they care about fleet management. Right. So right. We break these down uh, and every single uh, initiative has uh, a plan behind it. So we don't just give you say, this is what you should do. We actually give you guidance on how to do it. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, uh, we want to help people promote their achievements. We want to do it in a way that's tra uh, uh, transparent and trusted. And so we have multiple ways to do that. But we start with the GBB seal and the echo profile that you can build off that seal. And the seal allows you when you're ready to put that up on your website. And when people click on your website, uh, click on that seal, they're actually going to uh, be able to see a bunch of information. They're going to have a dashboard that will tell it, here's what we do. Uh, here's where we've made our improvements. And here's every single initiative that we've done. And, and, and at its core, those are the three things that we drive. Now, there are other things that we provide, but this is the core essence of what yeah. it is that we do. Yeah. So, so Softly is a Green Business Bureau member. And, and I, think, I, I think one thing that really drove home with me that what you were saying is you don't always say, you don't only say, hey, what, you know, are you recycling? Um, you actually give specific ideas of, of like what to recycle. So for example, as we were filling it out, we got points for using refillable um, cartridges in our printer. Um, um, also, you know, hey, I've decided we're, we're not going to use single, you know, use, um, you know, paper, um, you know, um, cups or plates and things like that. So, um, you know, a lot of times we were looking through it and we thought, wow, you know, we've actually, we're already doing a lot of these things, but then we got a lot of ideas that, you know, some of them we didn't necessarily think about. So, um, I think you're, you're right on with that. Well, as I mentioned, we try to do things that are common sense, that any business person can answer and do the initiatives. You don't have to be an echo consultant to do, to do that. Echo consultants are great or people come in, but you don't need to be one if you're running your business, right? Yep, exactly. And a lot of people can't afford to do that. Um, it's a lot more costly. So, you know, this is a, a great, you know, roadmap um, for doing it on your own. Okay. Do you want to show us, show us what it looks like when you get into the platform? Sure, be my my pleasure. I, I need to ask to share the screen, and I'll do that right now. So, where are we? Give me a moment. I'm sometimes technically challenged. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> um. All right. If it doesn't go up, what we'll do is we'll just talk through it. That's totally okay. No, no, we'll get up there. Can everybody see the screen? Can you see? Uh, looks like it's coming. There we go. It's there. All right. So uh, one of the things you'll find out uh, about Green Business Bureau, again, I talk about the fact that this has been for business people and, you know, uh, we, the MIT lead certified engineers, we love what they built, but uh, but also because they're kind of scientists and engineers, uh, uh, it, it was a, it less easy to use. And we wanted to make sure that that when you're running a business, uh, that you have the ability to do that. So I'm going to kind of skip through. I will say step one, uh, we won't go into that, but we will ask you a couple of questions because we want to know what kind of business you are. Uh, because we have those different industry packs. So we want to make sure the system is smart enough from the very get-go to, to want to deliver questions that are important to your business and not something that is irrelevant to you. We'll ask you if you own or, uh, or, or rent or lease your building, because if you own your own building, you can do more initiatives than if you don't, because if you, you, know, you can't put uh, solar panels on a building you don't own. But once you kind of answer those very simple, basic questions, we're going to ask you to go to the next step, which is to go to the echo assessment that I uh, discussed. And what you'll see here is, again, uh, it, it, we're going to tell you 
every time you're in a new place, this is where you are, this is what this is, and here are the instructions to do it. And you'll see that, again, it's very common sense. It's yes or no questions. Um, and the questions are, as you said, do you, you know, for drinking water, do you use filtered water? Uh, do you have faucets with controls that turn off automatic? You know, very common sense questions. And as you go through, you're going to answer those questions, yes or no. Now, we're looking actually at a live site. Uh, Rivalita Wines is a, is a current member. Uh, and if you kind of go through, uh, you're just going to say, okay, do I have faucets? And you just answer yes. And when you answer yes, what's happening is you're completing the assessment. But every one of these questions actually has a point value associated with it. And this is part of the science and the algorithms that, that when we looked at the, this, uh, that the original developers had, had put into it, every question is rated in a different way. And it's rated on both the cost it takes to do, the effort it takes to do, but more importantly, the impact of what that initiative is. So as you go through, you're going to answer these questions, yes or no, and I don't want to uh, uh, mess up the score that, that these folks have. Um, but there, you also have questions that if it's not available to you, you click on not available. You never have, by the way, never have to answer no. You just answer yes or not available. The only time you click no is if you accidentally put on, uh, accidentally clicked on yes and it wasn't appropriate. The other thing that you'll notice here is if you don't understand where the question is, and this gets into kind of the, the that library, trying to tell you what something is and how to do it. If you click on the thought bubble, uh, it's going to take you to a little bit of a, you know, this is what this initiative means. And you can see this is what it is. And here are some key steps. Uh, and by the way, this is kind of how, how is this rated at eight points? The effort's low, the impact is low, the cost is low. So uh, again, it's always guiding you as to what things are answering questions for you. When you're through here and you've kind of gone through these questions and this, there's about 60 questions in the assessment. So if you know your business well enough, you probably can get through this in a half an hour, an hour, you know, two hours. But it really depends. And we have customers who, who you know, have uh, 50 locations and each location goes through an initiative. We have some that are a single location. Uh, we also have companies who are purely work at home because we have a work at home initiative. So it really depends and, is, and it can be modified or, or it's customized in a sense by what you choose to do. So if I'm done here and I want to go back to the dashboard and go into the next step. What happens is I mentioned that the uh, uh, as you're answering questions, the system is creating your initial dashboard. So this is what an initial dashboard might look like. Now, again, the, the, this is a live customer, so they've already achieved gold status. But I'll show you a couple of things here. The dashboard that you'll see is going to tell you, you know, here are the areas where I've, I've done the work. Um, you can see the number of initiatives essentially of, out of 174 around this particular community and society. I may have only done 32. But in, in energy emissions, I may have done 128 out of, you know, so it's going to show you where else you kind of can continue to, to work. It's going to give you the number of points you've earned. And, and ultimately, uh, it's also going to show, uh, that, again, this is initial, so it kind of gives you that first sense. Now, if I go in and want to look at what some of those initiatives are, or I want to filter them, I can see here they're a food services company, but I can actually filter things on if I want to do things around transportation, uh, if I want to you know, filter them around high, medium, or low impact. I'll just go low for now. You, again, you can kind of filter these things the way you want. I, and as you're going through, we, again, as I mentioned, we don't just tell you, hey, here's a here's a program that you should do. Again, click on the bubble and you're going to see a ton of information here about what this is, why it's scoring the way it is, what the key steps are. But I think it's also important to realize that this is also an information repository. So every time we do a guide about something, every time we do a, a blog about something in particular, if we do a business case study, that related content, if something's related or the system thinks it's related to the initiative, it's going to show up in here and allow you to actually click on something and maybe see what someone else has done. Look at something that's in a little more detail about a guide that we have created. And lastly, in the lower right-hand corner, you'll see that the system has intelligence to it, not artificial intelligence, but enough intelligence to say, if you're doing this type of initiative, like incentive programs for electric vehicles, there may be other initiatives that are related, like installing or choosing, uh, you know, a building with electric stations. So it's going to kind of try to lead you to what, what it thinks is next and logical, okay? Now, if if that's not something you want to do, you can actually use the system to create ways for you to say, let me create a way where I make the the, the um, a, a list 
of things that, that I want to kind of get to, to um, uh, later. So I may look at this and say, if I hit postpone, you ultimately can go through and you can see here that these initiatives I want to do. And then if you just click on postponed, you're going to see the initiatives and this could be part of your plan as to what you want to do next. All right. Lastly, um, when you are done here. So it's a repository and it's really a planning tool also going forward. So you can use it in, in team meetings to say, hey, what are what's our plan going forward? Exactly. 100%. It's meant to be, you know, our, we have a philosophy, which is we, this system is designed and we, we <laughs> will work with you as you first become a member, but it's ultimately designed to make us go away, so to speak. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and what I mean by that is our philosophy is we want to help teach you how to fish and not fish for you. And that's why we price it the way we price it. We, we don't, we do offer training and consulting services, but it's usually around the getting started portion of it. Yeah. We want you to engage your employees with this with this tool, uh, and we want to teach you how to do that. The last step is then to talk about um, how do you create the seal and how do you share it. Uh, and uh, it's very simple. Again, we're going to tell you, hey, this is what the member seal means. You're going to choose the seal that you want to use. You're going to um, look at, at the size that you want to have it. Uh, and then you just press copy code and ultimately you or your um, webmaster is going to put this in the area of the website that you think is is best. And what I'll try to do to show an example of that uh, just um, here is well, let me take you to a live customer. Let me do it this way. One second. Let me, uh, I'm going to bring up something else. Yeah, this is, is it's all good information. And what I what I really like about it, Tom, is it doesn't it, it seems like any business can be involved in this. It really doesn't matter the size of the business or what industry you're in. Um, any business that is wanting to make sure that you have a repository and a place to store your information um, and really keep you on track when it comes to sustainability. You know, this is a great platform to do so. Yeah, so let me show you how the, uh, thank you, I appreciate that. And mm -hmm. uh, But let me show you also, this is a, a live, one of our members called Watson Loves. They're based out of British Columbia near Vancouver. And as you can see here on the website, they have the, uh, we call it the classic seal, the Green Business Bureau Classic, they're a platinum customer. When you click on their seal, you actually get, this is the transparency that I'm talking about, right? You can see this is who they are. This is created by the system. You don't have to do anything on this part. It's created for you. By the system you just have to what i showed you do the choose which seal you want what size you want and when people click on it they're going to see this is the level they've reached how many points yeah. they are it's, it's not showing it's still showing their their yeah. website but basically what it does is if you click on that it's going to go to a, a separate site and it's actually going to yep. lay out the sustainability um initiatives that you met uh, I'm, Jeff, I'm sorry that the way this and again technical difficulties. But let me do it. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. We got the idea, so um, so it's all good. Okay, so um, yeah, thanks for sharing that. I think it's always yep. good if somebody can kind of get in and actually see what a platform looks like. If anybody has any questions, please put them in the um, in the chat, and we'll get to those in just a minute. So, um, so kind of what's the process that, okay, that's, you know, that's how you get started. Um, how do they get a hold of you? Do they go to a website and, um, sure. is there anything else that's yeah. kind of know to get signed up? Sure. Absolutely. Their, uh, the website is greenbusinessbureau.com. Uh, and if you come to the website, uh, the, the, the you'll, you'll see a lot of information and, 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 uh, and, and it's the best way to kind of explore more about what we do. Uh, and you'll see some of the blogs, some of the business case studies we do, some of the member profile stories that we do if you go to the blog. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's uh, www.greenbusinessbureau.com. Yeah. Uh, and can we'll also, show that again in a second too. So don't yeah. worry about it. You will get it on screen. Yeah. And then uh, people can reach me directly. My email address is tom at greenbusinessbureau.com. Uh, also, uh, I would advise... Uh, also ask people if they can't reach me or if they want to reach uh, someone else in my organization. One of my, uh, the, the person that you work with very closely is uh, in our organization, Brian. Uh, and uh, Brian at greenbusinessbureau.com uh, can be reached as well with a Y. Uh, and um, so just, uh, I'm happy to answer questions for any, I love talking to, uh, as a CEO, I love talking to prospective clients, clients. I love talking to people who leave us. 
Uh, you know, some people have been here for four or five years. They feel like they've gotten the value and, you know, perhaps they, they don't think, you know, we think they need us forever, but they may not. <laughs> but, I, but I always am looking for. So, how's it, um, so if somebody comes on, is it a annual fee? Tell us a little bit about. Yeah, pricing. sure. No, it's an annual fee and uh, we're very transparent. Our pricing is right on the website. We do it currently by tiers of employees. So okay. uh, what you see uh, when you go to the site, there are tiers for one to nine. 10 to 24, 25 to 49, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and so we price by the number of people and the number of sites. So if you've got multiple sites, you might need multiple logins and we and, and we charge uh, right. price accordingly. Um, as a company in the sustainability, sustainability industry, we feel it's really important to behave in a way that is extremely transparent because we're asking you to be transparent. So that's why our pricing is right uh, you know, right on the front page, so to speak. Excellent. Okay. Well, we will make sure to take a look at that. Um, we do have one question from the audience and I don't know if you're going to know this or not, but we're going to ask. So did you apply for the EPA environmental protection agency, sustainable procurement audit? So I kind of know what they're looking for. And I don't know if your, your company would have been eligible for that or not, but the EPA is looking into sustainability certifications um, that they are going to be used for their used for their um, government procurement um, list of like approved um, um, companies. Yep. So no, we have not done that yet. Right. Um, okay. I am aware of it, um, and we are looking at it. Um, the the you've talked about this at the very beginning. There are a lot of different types of certifications out there, and one of the things. Uh, around what we do is we look at, you know, what we do again as a framework, a way to, for businesses to use our tool to get better. But we're also, we're a global company. So we have customers in 60 countries and six continents. Okay. And each country, each state, each area has different views of what they, there is no one sort of, you know, consider uh, mm-hmm. you know, you're going to have other our folks on. They're going to talk a little bit differently about what they think you know, things are. But what we do do is we're built out of lead certification. We go and we look at things like the UN Charter, the SDG uh, uh, mm-hmm. protocols, things that come out of, uh, out of the global, out of that. yeah, the um, UN Sustainability um, Goals. Correct. Yep, exactly. Um, there are, you know, so there are many organizations that we look to to say, okay, as we continue to grow our platform and invest our platform, what are the most common sense things that we can attach ourselves to around that? So when you think about ISO for manufacturing, there are a number of initiatives that we look at and say, how do we tie into what those initiatives are? Because they don't actually have initiatives. They have, this is what you need to do. And they don't tell you how to do it. Right. So a lot of people will use us because they want to be B Corp certified and they use us to kind of as a, as a method to become B Corp certified faster or ISO certified faster or other things certified faster because they get a lot of other benefit from us than they would than just answering the questions that I've done. Okay, excellent. Okay, um, I don't see any other questions here right now. So I want to thank you for being with us today, Tom. Um, really, really good information on getting your entire business on track. And I'm going to show you a slide in just a minute um, with contact information for the Green Business Bureau. Um, research shows that most people want to support purpose driven businesses that are doing the right thing, yet they just don't know who to trust. So all of you brands and businesses out there today, we talked about a great way to build that trust. And our goal at Softly is to help you with that process. Um, we're doing these webinars so you can learn about third party verifications and certify certification. Tom mentioned, there are a lot of them out there. Um, we also have a platform that takes that message directly to the consumers. It's our personal sustainable shopping assistant, which is a free download. You can get it on the Chrome web store, or you can go to getsoftly.com. It only takes a second. And what we do is we elevate and suggest sustainable products that are certified to be what they say they are. Um, and we, we um, make those suggestions to the shoppers as they're shopping. So to get a hold of us, here is information on both the Green Business Bureau and on Softly. Um, you can see the websites and the emails um, and the ones that Tom talked about as well are also in the chat. So you can also check it out there. So this is a recorded webinar. So this information is going to be available to you later as well. But for now, I want to thank you for being with us today. Please join us again. Um, here is our schedule going forward. 
And I just want to tell everybody to have a great day and tread softly on the world.